Welcome to the Book of Remembrance, and Merry Christmas, beloved. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on December the 25th, 2015. The title of the message is, Isaac, Thriving During a Drought. And the Lord Jesus began, I am a king, a great king. You are my people. I live to watch over you and to protect you from harm. My Holy Spirit constantly warns you of dangers ahead before they happen. If my people will listen to him, they will avoid many mistakes and dangers. However, my people are hard of hearing. They have taught themselves to ignore the voice of my Holy Spirit. He is a gentleman. He speaks in a still small voice, barely above a whisper. If you ignore him, it is at your own peril. Listen to him and your life will be a lot easier. He sees ahead of you. He sees the dangers and snares of the enemy, and he knows the way to avoid them, the way out of trouble. Once again, I say, listen to him. I love you, my children. I send the Holy Spirit to you that you may not be orphans, but that you may have a constant companion and guide. He is a companion to all in whom he resides. Even the lonely and alone who are washed in my blood are not alone. My spirit resides in you. On this Christmas season, remember my spirit resides in you. He is here to guide you, guard you, and nourish you in my word. He brings to your remembrance all of my words to you, that you may be strengthened and be encouraged. I love you all, my children. Abide in me, even as my spirit abides in you. Remain in me, even as my spirit remains in you. It is a season to rejoice and to listen for my voice, to listen for messages from on high. My children, I know these last two years have been hard for most of you. You have experienced much trouble and trials. There have been times when you thought you would not make it, but I have held on to your hand and carried you the rest of the way when your strength failed. Yes, things have been hard. It seems you have been dealing with one disaster after another. Many have experienced the death of loved ones, illnesses, marital problems, divorce, financial ruin, bankruptcy, repossessions, foreclosures. It seems every disaster imaginable has not forgotten to visit you. You have cried many nights and I have seen your tears and heard your sobs in the night. I have felt your pain, heard your anguished thoughts and watched as the devil and his hordes have tormented you and taunted you to make you doubt that I care for you. Some have lost hope and believed his lies. Others have blamed themselves and yet others have barely held on to the hem of my garments. Indeed, what the devil meant for evil, I have turned around for your good. You ask, how have you turned it around, Lord? I have used these trials and tribulations to draw your attention to me and to draw you closer to me. In the midst of them, you have sought me for relief with many tears and supplications. You have come to realize that you are not in control of any part of your life. You have learned to stop despairing and instead to rely on me completely for deliverance. You have found out that in the middle of your troubles, you only have one friend, one way out, one savior, and one salvation, me. Your troubles and tribulations have caused you to seek me diligently, and I have been found by you. You have clung to me in fear of losing sight of me again. My children, do not fear. I am and have always been here right by your side. I have never been further than a whisper from you. In your days of plenty, you ignored me. You had no need of me. You trusted in your own self-sufficiency. But now that you have been stripped down to the bare minimum, you have come running to me and you have found me. For many, you'll have to stay at the foot of my cross in order to survive the devil's onslaught. Learn this lesson well. Do not ignore the hand of providence in times of plenty. Draw close to me, whether you have excess or you lack your basic needs, whether in excellent health or at death's door. Those who stay in me in all the seasons of life are strong. They thrive in times of adversity, for they have made the Most High their dwelling place. Remember Isaac. He was obedient and he stayed in me. And although he lived during a time of great famine, yet he reaped a hundredfold in the same year while those around him lived in luck. Trust in me. Believe in me. Stay in me. Through prayer, fasting, 
Bible study and service to others during the time of plenty and in all seasons of your life. And when the famine comes, you will be like a light set on top of a mountain. You will be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, the first, not the last. I will cause you to produce fruit in the middle of a drought. Others will come to you for advice, and then you will tell them all about me, that they may have a place of refuge when storms come into their lives. Hide in me, my children. Stay in me, my children. You are coming out of your days of trials. How soon depends on whether you have learned to remain in me regardless of the circumstances. I am preparing you for my return. For some, trials are the only way they even bother to seek me. I must take as many with me when I return for my bride. Stop looking at your trouble and start looking at me. Do not let your gaze wander from me for even one second. The trumpet to announce my return is about to be blown. Stay in me. I am coming for you. I love you all. I am thinking about you. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.